Pelt Collector is back with a new best friend, and that new best friend is Death Shadow. Just when you thought that a deck with Pelt Collector and Vexing Devil couldn't get any more broken, that's where Death Shadow comes in. So let's set the stage here. Turn 1, Pelt Collector. And then on turn 2, we play any creature bigger than Pelt Collector, making Pelt Collector a 2-2. And on that same turn 2, we play Vexing Devil. Vexing Devil entering will make Pelt Collector a 3-3. And if our opponent chooses to let Vexing Devil die, as most do, Pelt Collector then becomes a 4-4 Trampler by turn 2. But then Pelt Collector stuck as a 4-4, it can't get any bigger, until Death Shadow comes out. Anyone who's familiar with Death Shadow knows that it can get very, very big. Up to a 12-12 in this deck, and that's very good late game for things like Pelt Collector, Experiment 1, and if Death Shadow dies, it also busts Pelt Collector. So we're looking at Pelt Collector becoming up to a 6-6 in this deck now. But right about now, you're probably asking, wait, Daddy, how can we get Death Shadow to be a big boy really quickly? Well, my dear children, Daddy will explain it. First of all, we're fetching for a lot of untapped duels. That's going to drain our life very quickly. But on top of that, we have things like Street Wraith, which cycles to drain our life for two. In addition, we can pay life to play things like Dismember, Mutagenic Growth, and collectively, this this deck can get very low on life very quickly, and that's very good for Death Shadow. Now, the previous red-green version of this deck that we made is very, very good. So good, in fact, that two people have already ran our list. Quite impressive, considering that we just posted the list a few days ago. And thanks to them, people are taking Pelt Collector very, very seriously now. But despite how strong our last deck was, I do believe this version is a bit stronger, which is kind of hard to believe considering how powerful the deck was before. But Death Shadow is pretty good. Just like before, the backbone of this deck is made up of little creatures, and then Burning Tree Emissary falls by Reckless Bushwhacker is what we're going for. And based on your guys' suggestions in the comments, I added a Claim the Fame to the deck, and at times, this card is very, very valuable. For one black mana, Claim returns a creature card with converted mana costs two or less from our graveyard to play. Ideally, that would be late game Death Shadow. On top of that, we can cast Flame from the graveyard to give a creature plus two plus zero and haste. So for a total of three mana, we can bring back Death Shadow, give it plus two plus zero and haste. That's very good. Speaking of haste, we can also pay one for Death Shadow and then pay two for Bushwhacker, giving creatures including Death Shadow plus one plus zero and haste. Death Shadow is good death shadow with haste is extremely good last thing for the main deck let's talk about mutagenic growth people simply just don't expect it if we're tapped out they think oh now's a good time to bolt a creature so they bolt something like goblin guide but even if we're tapped out we can cast mutagenic growth by paying two life and by doing that we save our creature but now on the sideboard a lot of you guys were asking why we didn't have evoke cards in the sideboard of our last deck and well i made a big oopsie not just in my pants but also in that we should have put this card in but fret no more my children now daddy has put in four it is very good with pelt collector as you guys pointed out if pelt collector is a one one and we play this thing for its evoke cost it comes into play dies and pill collector will effectively get two one one counters from that all for one mana on top of that it destroys an artifact it's very very good value and evoke is so good in this deck that we also have two shriek maws shriek maw same idea it pumps pill collector twice and for two mana we have to destroy a non-black non-artifact creature pretty good and then we also have gut shot i like that we can pay two life to play it one our opponent doesn't expect it and two it helps with death shadow it's good against deck with little things like birds of paradise noble hierarch stuff like that we also have a forge sender slows down burn a little bit and like before we have two remorseful clerics it works with pelt collector a bit and plus because we have grim lava master in the deck it's nice for us to keep our graveyard we also have a fatal push to deal with tarmogoyf and creatures similar to tarmogoyf there's also a thought seize against like combo decks and control decks and by paying two life it helps with you guessed it death shadow and lastly we have an alpine moon slows down tron decks and valakut decks and with that let's get to the gameplay but first if you're not subscribed or you haven't hit the bell notification be sure to do that so you don't miss any videos but now here's the gameplay and i hope you enjoy opening hand this is so tempting with four lands though i don't know so this would be turn one turn two turn two that'd be four four turn two i suppose we'd go for it it's very very risky though so start off with pelt collector and pass back what the hell is she this has got to be kci hmm, another land that's not good so let's go wild in the coddle followed by vexing devil they let it die so we have a four four swing in for four they go to 12 back to them play land sack that play chromatic star sack the star welcome the kci okay Okay. And now it looks like it's going to be our turn again. Oh my gosh, that's like a death sentence. Oh no, too many lands. Okay, swing for seven. And pass back. We might still get it. Land. Opponent plays a star and then concedes. Well, okay, then I guess we outsped them after all. You know, I'm actually looking forward to this game too, because we got four chewers. That will be very, very nice. We'll also put in a thought seize and two remorseful clerics to get rid of the graveyard stuff to counter the scrap trawler thingy. Then we'll dump some cards here. Three mutagenic growths. Dismember, claim the fame, experiment one, and a street wraith. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, not really great so i'm gonna mold this not super great either but we do have a morsel cleric so let's keep bushwhacker yeah let's keep that on top because we do have the burning tree emissary to go with it chromatic star mox opal and then back to us start with vexing devil opponent lets us keep it okay this is gonna be a bolt here yep kci usually has like four bolts in the sideboard sometimes so that makes sense wall spring and then this thingy and back to us do we play their morsel cleric i think the better move is this but maybe the cleric's the smarter move i guess we'll go cleric what rush are we in let's just sit back and enjoy things back to our opponent opponent goes opal then there's ironworks so it's probably a good thing we have this thing out mindstone and scrap trawler problem 
resolves once it's hit so they can respond to the cleric's activated ability before it resolves so we got to do it now we'll see if we can survive this already at 10 mana it's not good Ooh, and they pass back okay so we're in business now let's go emissary followed by bushwhacker and then swing for five on a bolt and then takes two pretty slow start from us let's see what they can do now back on their turn swing for three sure they might as well fetch and something good nah we'll play it though swing for two they get a 16 play a land back to them ancient stirrings grabbing another scrap trawler plays it and let the sacking begin one eternity later oh we lost uh, okay cool uh so yeah going into game two no changes and hopefully it goes better this time opening hand this looks very very good like very very good double pelt collectors while in the coddle vexing devil yeah we gotta go with this one so start off with pelt collector and pass back when it goes mox opal grow the burn willows and then passes back okay goblin guide so i think the best move here health collector goblin guide i imagine there's a bolt coming maybe yes no maybe so nope they take the four back to them wellspring and they might be a bit jammed here tomb not bad so let's go wild the coddle making these three threes then vexing devil making these four four regardless of whether or not they sack it if they take the four they effectively lose this turn but let's see what they do about this because they know they're in trouble they know they're taking at least 10 this turn they let it stay okay so they'll go to six which means we win next turn how can they get out of this back on their turn ancient stirring grabbing chromatic sphere playing it mox opal and nature claims the wellspring huh okay so they only have one artifact i think that's it right i just can't see how they can get out of this one okay I, that has to be it right i mean if this doesn't do it this, this, this has to do it there's the match and who said playing against kci isn't fun now on to the next one opening hand too many lands so we're gonna mull meh mull okay this is not getting any better let's keep it we shall start with vexing devil will they let us keep it nope back to them no hierarch and another land hooray back to our opponent and it's humans daddy's favorite abomination thalia and we do pull death shadow so i suppose we hold off for now and just pass back back on opponent's turn they go mantis rider swing for eight puts us at eight okay and not a great game for us i think at this point even with the death shadow and the haste here do we show them that we have it now they got us either way let's just keep it a secret for game two going into game two i'm gonna get rid of four street race one goblin guide one experiment one to put in two grim lava masters one gut shot two streak maws and one fatal push and with that let's go to game two yeah there's too many lands so we're gonna mull yeah it'll work let's start off with wild in the coddle and pass back i'm gonna play ziggurat and passes back Ooh, that's not good for them another wild in the coddle so we'll grab stomping ground making it a three three swing for three and then put out wild in the coddle here here and that looks pretty good what shall opponent do meddling mage naming a tarkus command well we don't have that anymore but maybe you've seen the video question is do we go with streak maw i don't really think so so we'll just swing for nine no blocks from our opponent back to them and what is these reflector mage okay bouncing one of them to coddles and back on our turn vexing devil all right let's play vexing devil they let it stay and then following that let's go shriek maw evoke hitting the reflector mage just in case they have something like a phantasmal image next turn and then swing for six opponent goes to two back to them and kite seal freebooter well that's not going to do anything and there's the game to concede okay opening hand this is very very risky but i think we got to go for it if we can just get one more land like a red land we're good opponent starts off with eighth of vial back to us land please yes that in nice so start off with pelt collector back to our opponent then what is these alia sure and another death shadow huh what would be the best move here i think best move here how do we kill the thalia nah problem is that wild nakata won't be a 3-3 this turn but we can still play the wild nakata followed by vexing devil hmm yeah let's do that on the coddle then vexing devil but will they let it stay it's a pretty tough decision for them because either we get a 4-4 or we get a 4-3 and a 3-3 so they let it die interesting and since we have two death shadow in hand let's just go for it swing for four no block so maybe they do have reflector mage that way they can bounce it hmm all right from the vials and champion and plays noble hierarch not great from them but not bad either but you know at least it's not reflector mage or mantis rider opponent swings for six sure no blocks we'll go to nine and ooh, nice gut shot except thalia is kind of in the way for that so what do we do we could go double shadow they're four fours or it can be super creative and go death shadow after we gut shot this put us down to seven making this a six six but if we only play one death shadow this turn they could go reflector mage bouncing death shadow making it so we can't play either death shadow the turn after so ah this grande how aggressive do we want to be here because once it becomes a five five it's kind of over but it really depends on if they have reflector mage or not i guess the question is could we survive if they do have reflector mage barely i suppose we'll risk it gut shot this that dies play the death shadow now swinging with the five five and the trample is very nice 
blocks here. Very nice indeed. No blocks from them. Okay. Seven to seven. Back to them. If they have Reflector Mage, though, that will be no bueno. If it's not Reflector Mage, then I think we're going to get this one. It's on three. But they do have a land, so does that mean? Are we clear? Uh-oh. What the hell? Very random. But at least it's not Reflector Mage. That is quite problematic with the Death Shadows, though. Mm, but two should be fine to get around it. And opponent swings in with a 6-6. Six, six. Huh. If these trade, this will become a 6-6 six, six itself, so it's not that bad of a trade for us. And with this out, yeah. We could get another land, make this bigger. Make sure this becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, let's take the trade. So Pelt Collector becomes 6-6. Six, six, and there's a Goblin Guide. Well, I think the best move here, let's just go ahead and bolt this hoe while they have zero cards in hand. Swing with these two hoes. So we'll have to block at least one of them. Oh, no, man. That's, this is not how you go out, is it? Oh, the, the power of math is not on your side. Because that's five spills over. All right. Not the most exciting finish there. But we've all been there. And with zero cards in hand, they're done. We had Death Shadow in hand. And overall, a pretty clean match. It's always a good sign if we can outgrind humans. So I is happy. But now on to the next one. Opening hand looks pretty solid. Two Pelt Collectors. Goblin Guide, this, and then this. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. Let's keep it. Start off with the Street Wraith. Burning Tree Emissary. Nice. Oh, wait. That's really nice. Very cool. And we'll go with Temple Garden. Playing Pelt Collector. And then back to our opponent. Opponent plays Flood of the Strand. And then back to us. Okay. But now I'm a bit apprehensive because they could have Spell Snare. <laughs> Look at me using the word apprehensive. I'm such a big boy. But I guess we shall risk it. Blood Crypt. Emissary. And it hits. Cool. Now our opponent's about to take Big Bone Bone and Butt. And not in a good way. I mean, good for us, but not for them. And then Swing for four crypt command on top Ooh, path to exile yep that is fine fine like your mama opponent goes to 15 and then back to them opponent plays a mountain back to us another burning tree emissary i wouldn't be surprised if they had lightning helix here we shall find out let's go burning tree emissary nothing from our opponent and then wild the coddle hit so far so good swing in path to exile on top in a snapcaster mage dang how desperate are they all right well they take the five go to ten back to them opponent plays land back to us you know that they have at least one path to exile goblin guide nice it hits now we'll swing in with everything and there's that path to exile no more basics for us but turns out we don't need it they still go to zero and now on the sideboarding so going on the game two i'm gonna dump all this to put in all this this in case of anger of the gods this for just getting rid of stuff and this for graveyard hate in response to snapcaster and with that let's go to game two opening hand is not that great but it's not not great kind of just meh but we'll keep and just hope for something good with the street wraith that shadow sure start with street wraith vexing devil yeah then i suppose just wild in the coddle and back to opponent opponent passes back to us Goblin ride so the question is remorseful cleric this turn or these two hoes and then the question is do we fetch for that plains or for a swamp i guess gotta wait for death shadow so we'll grab sacred foundry and then swing for three and then our second main put this in that'll probably be the best move so that way next turn we can go boom boom lightning helix sir now the coast is clear for remorseful cleric and then pass back i'm gonna pass back to us pelt collector nice so let's go for it i doubt it's gonna work but let's go pelt collector Ooh, and then bushwhacker will we see counter oh that's so dirty but the good news is that the pelt collector survives because we sacked so it's not that bad but i kind of wanted to save the cleric for like when snapcaster actually came out but oh well good enough back to opponent then opponent plus land pass it back to us hmm and try to something let us go with goblin guide swing for six celestial so colony goes into hand then opponent goes lightning helix we can't use mutagenic growth on it to save it that dies and there's path to exile on the pelt collector so now i don't feel so bad for not playing the vexing devil that kind of slipped my mind opponent goes 15 then might as well finish up with vexing devil opponent has a sack it so back to our opponent we just got to hit a black mana for this there's can't opponent plays a colonnade and there's burning tree not exactly what i wanted to see all right swing for two plus strand goes in the hand and a celestial purge a blue one nice it's not looking too good for us let's go with burning tree emissary and then pass back oh and a field of ruin and our only basic is there another goblin guide might as well we shall swing in see if our opponent wants to use colonnade no vendillion click targeting us yeah sure takes the growth puts the death shadow in hand but still no swamp and we lose the stomping ground then we shall swing in with both hits and another land it's like the third land in a row right <sighs> It's all right. It's all right. Well, I can lose this one. But at least we tried. This thing flips. Another one of those. And a timely reinforces. Oh my gosh, this is not going well at all. <laughs> yeah, our opponent's got this one. Hopefully no one's going to be mad if I concede here, but I I'm going to concede here. There's, there's no way. It's like between the colonnades and this and that, it's just, we ain't coming back. And he also like snapped this back. And anyways, yeah, it's over. It over. So going on to the game of three, I'm going to be a bit more aggressive here. Put one more street rate in. Taking out a forge center, I'm going to risk it and say that they don't have anger of the gods, but they probably do, but you know, whatever. And with that, let's go to game three. Opening 
second hand, it kind of depends on what we hit with the street ray. Three lands is a lot. Mutagenic Growth doesn't help. Death Shadow. Yeah, we'll go for it. I really don't want to hit a land here, so I'm going to fetch first before this. Then Street Wraith. Okay, sure. And then Wild and Coddle. And back to our opponent. Opponent plays Colonnade. Back on our turn. Ooh, nice. Oh Do it again. And Burning Tree Emissary. Well, they could have Path to Exile and take this out, but I really want to risk it. Let's fetch. Get a Blood Crypt. Swing in. And I'm going for it. I'm going to go Mutagenic Growth here. So we're two bolts away from losing. And then play Death Shadow. Back to our opponent. It's either Path or no Path here. Or like Celestial Purge or whatever. Bolt. Oh, man. I guess let's go for it. Ooh, Lightning Helix. That's better than Path to Exile. Man, oh, man man if we fetch and go down the three this comes to 10 then we can bolt put them at one dang we could fetch here go to three puts this out of 10 they go to 17 down to seven what is the right move here okay so this thing will die and we could fetch here but i don't want to go down into bolt territory so i think the best move here fetch for a mountain they go nine then we'll go burning tree emissary then remorseful cleric and with the red floating we could bolt them but there might be a snap caster so i'm gonna save it and back to our opponent how will our opponent survive this it's gonna be timely reinforcements Ugh, that's annoying at least they don't gain the life mm. Ooh, and a street wraith oh no There's so many good things we can pull with the wraith but we can't go down the bolt range we just can't all right let's just swing with everything yeah actually I mean, do we even swing with everything i don't know that could be risky because they have bolt in hand they can plan on swinging with two we could bolt one back put us at one instead yeah we'll swing with everything and opponent blocks like that okay they go to six back to them we'll see if they have supreme verdict so i think it's the only thing i could really do in this position wrath of god okay okay get rid of the graveyard what do we do here to go lightning bolt i really don't know i guess we save it oh it's not what i wanted to see is it now or never i don't know do we go for the street wraith do we not go for the street wraith it's so risky and what are the odds they have nothing in hand i uh, let's just go for it cycle oh my god oh my god oh what what are the odds? That's gotta be one of the best wins ever. Oh my gosh. How many ways could we have won that turn? I don't, I think it was just Lightning Bolt or Claim the Fame. That was it. Oh my gosh. That was nuts. And I love nuts. Opening hand, one land. We have Pelt Collector, Street Wraith. He's risky, but we'll keep it. Start with the Wraith. Land, nice. Thank you. Then go Stomping Ground, Pelt Collector, back to opponent. Pulls a forest okay oh dang so much good stuff here okay grab blood crypt then play burning tree emissary and then reckless bushwhacker and swing in for eight Hunter goes to 11 back to them urborg and the thought sees ooh fatal push back in our turn is street wraith cycle it another shadow so let's swing for four Hunter goes to five play the shadow and back to our opponent and there's the concede already i mean i don't really blame him that was a pretty good hand so on the sideboarding so going into game two i assume they're just like regular green black so i'm gonna dump all this to put in all this for anti-creature stuff and with that let's go to game two opening hand i don't think we can keep this too many lands so we're gonna mull and ugh, definitely can't keep this no green very bizarre hand with no fetches mulligan again and yeah we'll keep this death shadow it's kind of early for that and without a lot of fuel in our hand that could be a problem so i'm gonna put this on bottom opponent starts off with thought seize takes the burning tree emissary but we pull another one so just as expected let's go pelt collector and back to our opponent goy where are them shriek maws so let's go sacred foundry and then burning tree followed by another pelt collector and back to our opponent we could actually lose this one i know it seems impossible but we definitely could lose hmm swing for three that's bizarre they probably have something to follow up with like another goyf probably seems a little risky to do that oh there's shriek maw and they'll also pump the pelt so shriek maw and in response opponent kills this okay so now kill the goyf and then swing four five back to our opponent what is these Ooh, that's pretty good against us and we won't be able to shriek maw it either yikes okay back to our opponent ooze yeah it's four things in graveyard they can hit to this turn oh man that is way too many lands put makes out of four plays hissing quagmire and swings with all of them do we double block that i think we kind of have to it is not looking good what the hell just happened what is happening to my computer oh oh my uh it's like a new feature on magic online just to, like relive every moment or uh, I, I don't what just ha what that's bizarre i've never seen that happen i played a lot of magic online never saw that before or maybe like the magic gods knew we were going to lose and that was like them interfering <laughs> oh my gosh all right do we keep this yeah sure all right hissing quagmire tapped and what do we start with let's try a street wraith lightning bolt goblin guy over wild in the coddle yeah i guess so actually they have so many lands in their deck though and we'll go goblin guy and risk it Swing for two, Inquisition, and back to Pound's turn. Oh, no way. This game is so bugged. What is this? 
Claim is in the graveyard, but then claim the fame is still in. What? Oh man. Oh wait. What? Can I move it? That's so weird. Oh. Oh no way. No way. Look at this. If you look at claim, it comes up as a single card, but it's supposed to come up as two cards. So it thinks that this is. Oh my gosh. That is so weird. Maybe I played too much Magic Online. Where like I'm just like so fascinated by the simplest things. And okay. Where did my land go? What? I played a land. Holy. Holy crap. I. I guess there's no land. So uh, Goblin Guide. This is so weird. So opponent kills that you've got to be kidding me it thinks i can cast claim from graveyard this is a joke oh my god harmagoyf it's cool though because like it makes you think about how the game code works right like why did when we drew a card why did it put it here so let's put it here if we play the land oh, wait, no, oh, oh, now the land's back oh okay how about we go claim grabbing goblin guide oh what the hell oh but it fizzled and it took the card too how it's a claim that's turned into a bushwhacker <laughs> oh man cycle and we actually pull bushwhacker is this even a real game anymore while in the coddle and then pass back to our opponent opponent pushes it sure this is very trippy oh my gosh i'm kind of just hoping the goblin guide will reappear because like we did cast claim on it and there's no goblin guide uh did our opponent attack it sounded like they attacked what no okay this might be the most interesting game of magic i've ever played to be honest it's like what okay sacred foundry and then what if but hills can we cast this no not at the moment wait we should be able to cast it though because there's like the, the the aftermath passes back to our opponent pelt collector do we swing will the game let us swing pelt collector followed by bushwalker i can click the lands then swing uh, 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 swing it's like this, this little force is like doing a dance there it's like woo Oh, if you look closely, you can see the force is like turning into a fetch. It's so cool. There's one block. There's another. I think it's another block. Is that block. Yes, it's a block. Okay. In response, let's fetch. Uh, did did we not fetch? Is is, is there any land? Is, is there land here? Nope. Nope. Where, where are you land? Land? Are you hiding? Nope. Wait. Wait. It's like buried somewhere. You just gotta tap it to unlock it or something. Because I kind of wanted to bolt that that the tarmogoyf. Oh wait. Now we can fetch. Okay, mountain. N now, okay, bolt. Now it it bolted. Oh wait, declare blocker step. What they did? I don't. Oh man, it's stuck on my timer too. Okay, well, yeah. So, uh, how was your guys' day? Hopefully, it was full of happy good times and stuff like that. So, um, let's uh, go to game three. No, it's just getting good. Make this error report better by including my computer specs. Hell no, that's some like NSA spying shit. I don't think so. Wait, is the match not over? I thought it was over. Oh, okay, we're still going. So I guess we keep this. I it kind of depends on if the computer's gonna let us play the stuff in our hand. But so far, nothing seems glitched yet. Start with Street Wraith, Wild in the Coddle, Goblin Guide. Do we go Goblin Guide this turn? Maybe we just go Wild in the Coddle. I'm actually gonna go Wild in the Coddle this time. Play that pass back. Then it goes to Inquisition, takes the Burning Tree Emissary, and we pull Goblin Guide. So let's go, Goblin Guide. I think the game's fixed. Everything seems to be working okay. So swing for five. Okay, life game, dude. But the question is, what game are we on? Is this like still game like two, three? I'm gonna play the land and passes back. Experiment one, cool. So let's go, experiment one, Goblin Guide, and then swing for seven. Cast down on top. Okay. And yeah, it's gonna be a fatal push. Ouch. Plus, I have a cast down on top, so that's like extra removal y. I'm gonna play the land, passes back. Bolt. Then you might as well swing in, even though some stuff is gonna die. Swamp, followed by Inquisition. And there's cast down. All right. I'm gonna go to seven back to them and what is this the bail off they go back to 11 back on our turn bushwhacker do we swing i think we kind of have to so swing in kind of grabs a land and the tassiger or tasker on top and yeah when it goes to nine do we bolt do we fatal push and we'll bolt back to opponent inquisition so there goes our fatal push Ooh, no takes the bushwhacker and there's tassiger all right well our opponent's got this one for sure i'm gonna play land nothing from our opponent besides that pellet collector play the pellet collector and back to our opponent opponent should land yeah our opponent's got this one plus we're running really low on time so with eight minutes on the clock left let's concede that one. oh wait that 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 was a uh, I, I guess there's a loss so three four overall that feels about right for this deck i did expect that mid-range would give us some trouble and we did see that in match four but other than that the deck feels pretty strong it did feel a bit weird at times because of death shadow the feeling of playing this deck with death shadow on it, it's kind of like the feeling you get when you run into traffic it's kind of like you expect that you die but then when you don't die you're like huh i guess things worked out after all you know that's kind of like what this deck is where you see our life total dropping really quickly and you think oh my gosh we're gonna lose this death shadow comes out that gets haste and then all of a sudden the tables are turned so it feels like a stronger version than what we saw before with the last video albeit a riskier version but one with a higher payoff and i feel like the payoff justifies the risk and that brings an end to this video again if you haven't already subscribed or hit the bell notification be sure to do that so you don't miss any upcoming videos. But that is all for now. And as always, I hope you have a great day.